Hey everyone, Taylor here. Today we're going to be talking about the four elements in astrology, which are fire, earth, air, and water. This is in slideshow format, and I'm just going to keep it very simple and basic and just run through each element. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing, and I hope you enjoy. So to begin, we will start with the dualities of the elements. There are two of them, and each of the four elements is either one of the two categories. It's either feminine yin or masculine yang. Feminine energy is passive, introverted, an inward expression, receptive, responsive, and it gains energy through solitude. Masculine energy is active, extroverted, outward expression. This energy seeks, pushes, and creates, gains energy through socializing. The feminine elements are earth and water, and the masculine elements are fire and air. So this does not mean female and male. This is the energy that it is giving off. So in earth and water's case, it's going to be a more passive, receptive energy and for fire and air, it's going to be more masculine, which is active and extroverted. So here are the four elements, fire, earth, air, and water. These are the building blocks of our world. Though they are very different, they need each other and work together to provide and sustain life. As we go through each element, you will see how each is essential and how their characteristics play a massive role in how we interact with one another and how we evolve and flow together. These are also known as triplicities because there are three signs per element. So observing what elements are abundant in your chart will show you where you naturally thrive and how you feel most comfortable expressing yourself. Observing what elements are lacking in your chart will show what may not feel very natural for you and a need to embrace whatever the missing element represents to help create a balance that we all seek within this lifetime. So to start, we will start with fire. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine energy. So think of raw energy, how it brings light, provides warmth, provides the ability to cook foods and mold tough materials such as iron. Fire also burns and can be destructive. This energy is all about passion, excitement, creativity, creation, play, and taking risks. This extroverted energy expresses itself through action. Fire signs share their warmth through enthusiasm, creativity, passion, as well as physical expression. Play, exercise, adventure, and sexual expression are important factors to this element. When creativity is stifled or spontaneity has been blocked and stagnancy seeps in, these signs can become depressed, dramatic, angry, and feel stuck. Some may view this energy as loud, brash, attention-seeking, or even childish at times. Fire signs thrive when excitement is involved and can be the life of the party. They tend to learn from experience instead of practical advice. You want these people around when you need positive reinforcement, a nudge to go forth and act on something, and a reminder that passion is what brings flavor to this lifetime. Next up we have Earth. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and this is feminine energy. Think of the tangible, physical resources to build and stabilize. When building a home, you want the best materials, the best instructions, and the patience to get it done the right way. This energy is all about practicality, stability, and physical resources. This introverted energy reflects inwardly and can come off as aloof or cold because the energy is very passive and grounded. Earth signs are no-nonsense and want to know that something is of value, meaningful, makes sense, and or serves some kind of purpose. Building something long-lasting is an important factor of life and taking quite seriously. When the checklists aren't finished, when goals and expectations are not met, earth signs can be very harsh on themselves and others, leading to depression, lack of self-esteem, and a self-deprecating mindset. Some may view this energy as serious, judgmental, and cold and emotionless. This element enjoys and feels better when there is a plan or to-do list where there is a sense of accomplishment in the end. 
Being surrounded by tangible materials also aids in the feeling of security. This could be home, car, clothes, etc. You want these rational thinkers and hard workers on your team when you want to get stuff done the right way. Next up we have air, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is masculine energy. Think of the breath and how we use it to communicate through speech, the wind and how it frequently changes direction and speed. So air energy is of the mind and intellect and very logical. This energy is all about curiosity, seeking stimulation through discussions, gaining information through media, people, books, and enjoys expressing thoughts and ideas. This extroverted energy expresses itself through discussion, the exchange of ideas, sharing information, socializing, coming off as flirty because of their charm and ease of discussion. This is light, airy, for the lack of a better word, more on the surface level rather than deep and dark energy. Bringing ideas and concepts to life can be a struggle at times. Learning how to shift things into the physical plane is very beneficial. Some may view this energy as superficial, indecisive, judgmental, and cold. Balancing logic with intuition is a great practice for this element. This element thrives when their communicative, data-collecting skills can be utilized and expressed. This could be in romantic relationships, business, as well as socializing with groups of like-minded individuals. You want these people around when you want lively conversation and debate, to see from multiple perspectives, and to learn something new. Next up is water. This is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Feminine energy. Think of changing tides, the natural flow of each body of water, and the depths of the ocean. This energy is all about intuition and navigating the ever-changing flow of emotions. Highly intuitive, receiving information unknowingly and unconsciously via other energies merging with their own, as well as the classic gut feeling about people, places, or situations. This introverted energy prefers a low-key, intimate setting as opposed to loud, high-energy environments. Water signs have the ability to feel out people and at times entire rooms. Water signs can be extremely nurturing and carries an energy of healing, compassion, and deep love. Being able to intuit a situation is a valuable gift that works best when paired with mindfulness and practicing becoming the observer. It can be easy to take on the energies surrounding them, unable to decipher which is their own, causing a feeling of overwhelm, confusion, fear, and depression. Some may view this energy as overly sensitive, emotional, moody, and clingy. This element thrives when able to express and process their flowing emotions in a safe, intimate space, when they are on their own in solitude, and in environments where they can give and receive healing love. You want these people around when you want to know the current vibe, when calming, compassionate energy is needed, and when you want to express your own emotions to someone who knows it can be a roller coaster as well as a beautiful gift. So here are the elements on the zodiac wheel and they go in order of fire, earth, air, and water. And it repeats itself all around the wheel. So if you start at Aries, you can see Aries is fire, Taurus, earth, Gemini, air, Cancer, water, and it starts all over again. Leo, fire, Virgo, earth, Libra, air, Scorpio, water. Sagittarius, fire, Capricorn, earth, Aquarius, air, Pisces, water. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, you can like this video, subscribe, and or utilize the thanks button below.